So at the outset, I would like to thank you for allowing me to move this very important motion that this House do now discuss the problems faced by the local small-scale sand and stone mines in the state. Motion so, moved. Yeah. You may now initiate discussion. I would so, like to know how many members will participate to allocate time. You may now initiate the discussion, please. Sir, as you may be aware of the fact that uh, sand and stone mining in the state has been the source of livelihood for tens of thousands of families across the state. So, recently I was approached by people who are engaged in this occupation from across the state that they are now receiving letter from the forest department declaring that their activities are legal are illegal so so we know that uh, as i've said that this has been a source of livelihood to tens of thousands of families across the state and it is also a matter of fact that these mining areas are not cultivable land and when people they are engaging in these mining activities they are involved with a traditional method of mining so i would also like to bring to the notice of the government that the land holding system uh, in our state as we know is very peculiar and most of those mine owners they are holding a very small scale of land not a large scale of land so therefore sir the decision of the government to declare this occupation which the people have been carried out for uh, quite a number of years will be as good as terminating their occupation. So, sir, I have gone through the rules of this Meghalaya Minor Mineral Concession Rules 2016. And if we are to make our people go by the rules, then I'm afraid that most of the people will not be able to to do it and ultimately they have to leave this occupation. So sir, therefore I feel that it would be uh, appropriate on the part of the government if the government instead of equating the sand and stone mining with the coal mining, they should come out with a specific guideline for the people in order to be able to allow them to carry out their mining activities. So I've also gone through one uh, uh, court observation as far as the traditional uh, mining is concerned. So I think if we take in this line, it will be helpful for the government to bring out a guidelines for the small uh, scale sand and stone miners in the state so that they can continue to earn their living through this occupation. So there is a case uh, in a high court uh, between Sri Bailaswar versus the state of Meghalaya and others. And according to this observation, I could say that there is a possibility for the government to find a way how to help these small scale sand and stone miners. And it has been observed that according to this ruling, sir, observation of the court, that the traditional activities of local inhabitants of the state of Meghalaya excavating, this is a matter of limestone, but I mean to, we can take in this line if we 
are really concerned about the problem of these small scale sand and stone miners. And sandstone from the outskirt of the forest, where it is very rocky and not fit to grow plants for construction works and other purposes, and also for earning their livelihood, had been considered by the Apex Court in Lafarge Umyam Mining Private Limited versus Union of India and others. And also, sir, it has been further observed that in our view, the natives and indigenous people are fully aware that they have knowledge as to what constitutes conservation of forests and development. They equally know the concept of forest degradation. They are equally aware of systematic scientific exploitation of limestone mining without causing of environment de degradation. However, they do not have the requisite wherewithal to exploit limestone mining in a scientific manner. These natives and indigenous people know how to keep the balance between economic and environment sustainability. So, the Apex Court further observed that the land of the nature, where the local inhabitants have been carrying traditional activities of excavating sandstone, is not a forest within the meaning of forest as defined by the Honorable, uh, by Honorable Apex Court in uh, TN Goda Varmant uh, Tiru Mulpa case. So, moreover, from the ratio, this density uh, of Lafarge Umia Mining Private Limited, it is clear that the Apex Court did not put any embargo uh, on the continuation of traditional excavation and transportation of limestone and sandstone. That means the, the Supreme Court has not completely banned on the continuation of traditional excavation and transportation of limestone and sandstone from the areas of Fawcett and also further the Apex Court already held that the Fawcett areas are not foreseen. Hence, the, the High Court gave this ruling that for the aforesaid reason, the respondents, more particularly respondent number two and three, shall allow the peti petitioner and other similarly situated person who are continuing on traditional excavation and transportation of limestone and sandstone at the time of passing of the judgment and order dated 36, 2015. So, sir, in line with this uh, observation and ruling of the uh, High Court, I would strongly urge upon the government to seriously take up the matter and find a solution to help these many families who have been dependent on sand mining and stone mining across the areas, especially like in many areas in Nong Krem constituency, Milim constituency, Pin Ursula constituency. These are small miners and for them it is a living. And moreover, the material, the sand or the stone that they collect from these uh, uh, quarries, they are not exporting outside, but they are for domestic use. So, so I feel that if the government can step in into this area and find a solution and bring out a guidelines, then it will not only uh, help them, but it will also make them to understand that the government is there for the people who are subjected to face these kind of problems. But sir, if you are leaving this uh, to the forest department only, then it will amount to a contempt of court because most of the areas that these small and sand and stone miners are involved, they are not falling under the forest department. So these are the factors that I would like to highlight in this August House so that the government can really help the people who are facing this problem. We know that uh, we are facing a lot of problem, uh, especially as far as the economic activities in, is concerned. So if the government decide to leave this issue, then it will definitely affect the tens of thousands of families who are depending their livelihood on this very occup occupation, sir. So I don't want to talk much, sir, because I feel that uh, the, the observation of the court itself is enough for us to draw a line and to uh, bring out a policy or, uh, I mean, a guideline so that we will help 
the people to continue in this occupation. So therefore, with this few words, sir, I, I hope I've been able to send my message across the government so that they can understand that the people, as of today, they are really uh, face problems with the intervention of the forest department as far as this sandstone, uh, small scale uh, miners are concerned. So with these few words, sir, I would like to thank you once again. And I hope that the, the, the government will take this positively so that we can really ease the burden of the people as thank far you. as this issue is concerned. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now may I call uh, Matthew B. Kulba to say. Thank you, sir, for allowing me to take part on the, dis on the discussion to the problem faced by local small-scale sand and stone miners in the state. Yes, sir. The people in my constituency adjacent to Malim, where sand mining has been on for so many years, and stone mining as well, they are small miners. Sir. They only use manual labor to break down the big stone so that they can get stone chips and sell to the people who require them. This manual labor will not create so much problem to the environment as these people have been earning their livelihood since time immemorial. So the people of Lom Kintung, they have approached me to take up the matter with the government since, it's, since this is the best place to take up the issue faced by the people. So I would urge the government to kindly look into the matter and help the people of the state who has been earning their living through this, this sand and stone mining. Uh, as these people right now are just staying at home with no other way of earning their living, they don't have money even to pay for the school, school fees of the children. So, sir, I would again urge the government, as the issue raised by ba Arden, to kindly help the people who have been earning their living through sand and stone mining. With these few words, sir, I thank again for allowing me to take part in this discussion. Then I resume my seat. Thank you.